What's up people, this is Kiato here, welcome to my SoccerCon Hall 2019 video. So, SoccerCon just recently ended, and if you don't know what SoccerCon is, it's an anime convention that's held every yearly at Seattle, Washington, so it's like usually sometime in March or April, one of those months. So, it pretty much it ended about a week ago, I got everything unpacked, I'm settled in now, and I kinda got everything uh, set, as you can see, there's barely any mess in my room, so... Yeah, really fun con. I uh, enjoyed myself. Uh, I was actually volunteering, so I didn't really get much of a chance to grab a lot of things or made a lot of purchase or explore the whole convention. Just want to mention this a little uh, quickly here. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I mentioned that I was planning on vlogging at SoccerCon to show you guys like what the convention is like, all sorts, and like the exhibitors and just the con itself in Seattle. But because I was actually volunteering, like I mentioned about like 15 seconds ago. I didn't really actually get the chance to actually, you know, vlog. I was pretty busy, and after I finished my uh, shift, I rushed to autograph lines to grab some autographs from people that I was actually uh, wanting to see. So I apologize in advance. Sorry. So, anyways, let's get started on a haul. Show you guys what I got. First thing I show you guys, just going through all the small stuff that I got for free. The first one I got is his temporary tattoo that I got from the Promised Neverland event that happened at SoccerCon this year. So at the event, it was the directors as well as the Japanese voice actor Tsumori Morohoshi who voices Emma in Promised Neverland. So they gave us this temporary tattoo and this is in the show pretty much they what this is like an identification number that the kids wear as products or meat as you guys haven't seen the show yet. So we got this free tattoo. Next up, I got this Magia record. If you can see right there, this is a side story of Magia or Madoka Magic. So this is a sticker that we got for free. So here it is. Next, this Wolf and Children, uh, like a it's like a summary packet uh, describing the story. So as you can see right here, just like a bunch of summary words. And when you open it up, it's a bigger description of the whole story itself. So. Oh, super blurry. Sorry about that. So, pretty much on the back, it's just uh, Mama, Mamoru uh, Hosada, and so it's a little pamphlet. So it, it'd be nice to put on your little like, work desk or something just to show off. And going next, some posters that I got for free at SoccerCon. The first one to show you guys, Demon Slayer. So. Demon Slayer, if you guys haven't seen this, definitely go check it out. Really love the anime so far. I'm starting to read the manga now. So, it's Demon Slayer mini poster. Kaguya-sama uh, Love is War poster. Really good uh, romance series. Definitely will check this out. I think it just recently finished airing too, so... Now you guys could uh, marathon through it if you guys haven't seen it. Recommend it. Uh... We Never Learn. This is a new series that Aniplex is premiering, showing, so this is kind of good harem. I read the manga. Uh, didn't get started on the anime yet. Promotion of Sword Art Online War of the Underworld Allization. So this is a pretty awesome picture of Alice with her eye patch, and who doesn't love girls with eye patch? Pretty awesome. So here it is. Gonna be premiering in October 2019. I actually, funny story, I actually cosplay as Kirito at SoccerCon helping out, so it's a pretty cool poster. So these four posters were pretty much at the Anaplex booth that they were handing out. Next up, I got some stuff from the Funimation booth exhibitors hall. So first one, this Your Name mini poster, so it's funny. I really like it just for the fact that it's holographic and it's pretty smooth. As you can see right there. And it's funny too because it's- whoa, camera, focus. So, they're pro uh, pretty much promoting uh, the DVDs and the limited editions I so you can clearly see in the back right here, so. Try to get it. Uh, this came out in uh, November because the date's right there and I also own it in one of my shelves right there, so. Yeah, they're just promoting this. And this awesome Code Geass mini poster of the movie that is set to premiere the sub May 5th, dub on May 7th to May 8th, so this will be in theaters. I got, they uh, pretty much showed this at SoccerCon, premiered it 
earlier. So it was a pretty awesome movie. You guys haven't checked that movie out yet. Recommend it. I like the movie a lot. I actually like Kogi as a series. Wouldn't say it's my top five, but it's definitely a high um, anime series I would like to watch anyways. Or not would like to, but you know, that I watched. So here's the mini poster I got. And the last stuff that I got for free, uh, pretty much this is from Young Press. The last free stuff, swag stuff, is this Torture Princess poster. So this poster is pretty nice, just for a fact that I love the mixture of black and red. And the waifu. So waifu, black and red. It's a pretty awesome picture of the poster to show off. So, Alright, so moving forward, this is going to be stuff that I uh, purchased. So, this is kind of, well, you have to purchase it and you get it for free if you made a purchase. So, this is at the Anoplex booth. So, first up to show you guys are the posters that I got that, like I just said, made, make a purchase, you get free posters. So, first one is this SAO Allization poster. So, show it off. Right here. Another poster, as you can see, with Alice's big head, as you can clearly see, that's bigger than everyone else's. This awesome uh, Demon Slayer poster. And uh, Kaguya, or Kaguya-sama Love is War. I actually had a fifth poster that I had, which was a Promise Neverland poster, but I gave that to my friend just for the fact that he was a big fan, and I also had... Pretty much the one I gave him was actually a signed copy uh, from the directors, as well as the voice of Emma from Promise Neverland, so I gave that to him because he was having a crappy time at the convention since he didn't really get to uh, explore as much, so here is what it looks like right there since I took a picture before I, you know, gave it to him. Alright, more stuff that I purchased at the convention. I got this at the Animet booth for about 15 bucks or so. And I really want to get this because hopefully I get this frame, so. It is... If it... Hmm. Fooly Cooly poster. Sorry for that, and uh, go open it for you guys to show you. So hopefully it didn't wrinkle it. Pretty awesome poster from Anime Booth. Fully Fully is one of my favorite series that pretty much got me into anime. So just to uh, show you guys, look at that beauty. Really awesome poster to get. Whoa. Alright. Next up, you got this Rookies and Punk t-shirt. So I bought this t-shirt for a fact that if you buy a t-shirt from them, you get a picture taken with them at near at the end of the convention. So by the way, uh side note. A little fun fact, I shouldn't be buying any more t-shirts because last video I said I plan on buying less t-shirts because I have a full closet full as you can still see, clearly see right there. But you know, I really wanted my pictures taken with Rookies and Punk so this was like the greatest opportunity since how often do you see Japanese fans uh, pretty much go to America. Anyways, last thing I made a purchase of, I got this cool Kinfold camo jacket from the Kinfold booth, so thanks Malo and Leon for the jacket. Pretty sick jacket, especially since it's camo. I never actually owned a camo jacket before, so I really wanted to add one into my clothing uh, clothing like closet. So pretty awesome. 
And materials feel really nice too. This was about like 65 bucks and then with tax 73 bucks, but awesome quality. The inside feels good. The outside feels it's light. It's a light jacket too, so you know you can't expect to wear this in the rain or like in the snow, but it is definitely good to wear in like autumn or spring, so pretty awesome jacket. You guys haven't you guys ever see Kinfold Booth at your nearest convention, I highly recommend buying their jacket. Alright, onwards to the final part of the video, which is my favorite part of doing, is uh, showing you guys my autographs that I got at the conventions. So, first one is from Kari Walgren, who, if you don't know, voices the character Haruka from Fooly Cooly, and it's actually, fun fact, uh, that's actually her first anime character that she ever voiced, so, really happy that she came at the at you know, like Seattle and pretty much I got her to sign this awesome Fooly Cooly DVD first or actually it's the third volume but if you guys didn't know this is probably one of my most prized possession as right here is signed by the creator of Fooly Cooly little right here the voice actor of Haruka the Japanese sub and now I got the English dub of Haruka and it's a Show you my uh, thing. The Japanese voice actor of Haruka, named Shintani Mayumi. So, it's official. And if you don't think it's made, here's more evidence. Uh, this was back in 2016. So really awesome. This is probably one of my most most prized possession. Now I kind of want to get the autographs of. Nato, the English and the Japanese voice actor, to get this sign and complete my signature for this. So, thank God. And lastly, this San Diego Comic Con uh, special live stage performance from the Pillows. As you can see, this is the songs that they played on their list. And right here is autograph from Kari Walgren. I'm really grateful that she came. Uh, she, not only was she really nice and down to earth, she was very kind if I didn't say that already. Uh, she actually gave me two signatures and all the prints that she was selling was going for a ch uh, children's hospital. So if you guys ever, pretty much, if she ever comes to your local con, I would definitely go see her. She, she gives the time and effort into meeting each and every one of us so anyways if you guys want to check this out uh funny thing this is actually from the limited edition blu-ray dvd from a fully coolie from japan so i'll show that later in a later future video so this is what you guys see right now all right continuing more show you guys this i'll just open it show you got two shiki boards signed so of course this one's pretty awesome is Ryukishi07. He is one of the game developers of Higurashi One Day Cry game. And if you don't know that series, I'm pretty sure you'd be familiar with the anime with the girl dressed in almost a sailor suit with a butcher knife. And here's his little doodle of him and the girl's butcher knife. So, he came to Sakuran, really awesome guy. Uh, funny thing is, his, fam his family was at Sakuran too, from what I've been told by one of my friends who, you know, got to meet him personally. So, Really awesome. Really thankful he came. And behind this is the Rookies and Punk autograph. And it's kind of funny too because I keep things labeled as you can see. This is so that way I don't forget who signed it because I know I have like a couple shikis that I don't know who signed it because people's signature is always different. So I always keep a little tape just to remind myself who signed it. So Rookies and Punk autograph. Ryukishi07 Really happy that I got their autographs Alright, next up Continuing on with Rookies of Punk uh, Rookies of Punk I probably spent the most money on at their booth I spent like over a hundred bucks if I recall You know with the t-shirt and not only the t-shirt but these two CDs that I bought So right here Is the uh, Wadachi Ever Since Album as you can see their signature, really awesome. Bam, this is what the back cover looks like. Um, the only thing I can say that's sad about like knowing to you know getting their signatures is the fact that knowing that next month in the end of May they will be on hiatus 
so we don't know if the hiatus will be actually long or not. Sometimes it's kind of worrisome too because when people go on a on hiatus to focus on their solo career or something, uh, sometimes they eventually just break up just because that they're more successful doing it by themselves. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope they do come back together. I've seen a lot of bands and artists do that type of stuff. So, anyways, and uh, here's the anime songs best hits. With their signature, so on the back you got, of course, In My World from Blue Exorcist, Yowawashi Pedal, Bleach, which I didn't know that they did Bleach, and Dorara, I believe this is the second opening for Dorara. So, you got these two signs and the Shiki board, so awesome getting these one signed. And lastly, show you guys my last signature in my haul. Is this Promised Neverland poster or mini poster that's signed by right here from uh, Simor Simari Moro Hoshi? And these are the directors that worked on Promised Neverland. So, here's an awesome one. I think the reason why I kept this one and gave the big one to my friend is for the fact that the big one is really hard to see the autograph signatures on. This one is clear as day as I'm pretty sure you can see a mile away from right here, all that black stuff. So, pretty happy. Um, think I'm happy that not only did I get their signature, I also made my friend happy, giving him a signature from the voice actor as well as the directors as well. So, you know, it's a win-win. Alright then, that'll pretty much wrap up my haul for SoccerCon 2019. If you guys did like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below what you think. And uh, most importantly, next month is Fanime, so you guys don't know what Fanime is a convention that is held in San Jose in California. And this con is going to be my first con I ever attend to, or the first Fanime. So I'm actually pretty excited because Fanime is more known for the party con, aka lit con, aka pretty much turns on every day, partying, drinking. So that would be fun, four days of all fun to seeing all my old friends as well as hopefully meeting new ones along the way. And so, you know, this time I'm not volunteering or working, I'm just, I'm actually going for uh, fun and hopefully vlogs. I will definitely keep vlogging or I will actually vlog there. And most importantly, the reason why I'm actually going there is actually to see Aya Hirano. And uh, yeah, probably my favorite voice actor of all time in the industry. You may know her as Lucy Hartfield from uh, Fairy Tale, Misa from Death Note, and most importantly, from the melancholy of Harui Su Su Suzumaya, the girl herself, Harui Suzumaya, the main character, so. That anime was the one that got me, or Fully Cooly, Harui Suzumaya, and uh, what was the third one? I definitely remember there was a third anime that, oh yeah, and Boku wa Tomogachi ga Sukune. Really excited to go to the anime just to see her all four days, see friends, party all day, party all night. This will be a fun time. Anyways, like I said, I'm ending video now. If you guys can, I will leave my social medias below as well. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, somewhat Facebook. I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram. And Instagram, my Instagram's been popping recently. Kind of, little-ish. Been posting a lot of anime stuff, so keep a lookout for that. If you guys want to see some cool, awesome stuff. And Twitter, I po talk a lot, so, you know, interaction's always good. Bigger interactions in the community is always going to grow the community and make it better. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep on watching anime and uh, take care.